the Monte King 95 Pro. Beautiful, beautiful case. Don't you agree? Thank you guys for joining us today and we will be discussing today an in-depth look at this Montec King 95 Pro case. I've had this case for a little over two months when I started coming back to building my own custom gaming PC. As you can see, inside this machine right here is a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with an AMD Radeon 7800XT. But enough about the components, we're here to talk about this case, this beautiful case from Montec, the Montec King 95 Pro. We will be discussing its features, all of its components, and anything that you might need to know about this case if you decide to go with this Montec King 95 Pro. Stick with us until the end guys, because as a bonus, I will let you in on a quick tip on how we can make sure that we can control all the RGB lights that you can see here, as well as the strip light over there, can be controlled on our motherboard software, which is in my case, is the Asus Armor Crate or in the BIOS. To change it from this to this. So sit back, relax, and let's meet the king of mid-size tower PC case, the Montec King 95 Pro. The Montec King 95 Pro is a dual chamber glass PC case. One of the things that makes this case different from the rest is its industrial grade curved tempered glass that boasts optimal curvature and unmatched durability ensuring crystal clear component visibility in every angle which gives this case a much more seamless aesthetic look and feel. This is also a toolless PC case which means that most of the things that you need to remove don't require any tools for you to remove them. The top cover of the PC case can just be lifted up to be removed and as you can see, it also has some built-in dust filters to make sure that no dust comes in into your PC case. Both the side and the front glass panel as well can be removed without any tools required. Actually, the website for the Montec King 95 Pro says that this glass is an industrial grade 4mm tempered glass and they actually put in a video showing that even a car cannot break this tempered glass. But other YouTubers already tested this and in fact this is breakable under the pressure of a car. Included in this PC case is another type of front panel if you want to replace this glass panel with a mesh panel which I am showing you right now. This mesh panel is said to improve the airflow of the PC case. And you just need to switch it out just like this. Easy PC. But take note that it is recommended when you are using the mesh case to switch over or swing over the fans from the side to the front. But if I want to do that right now, I need to remove the fan at the bottom and also the GPU that is getting in the way of swinging these fans from the side to the front of the panel. But let me show you an illustration of someone doing this right now. So, actually, you can have two looks in this PC case. Either you will have a mesh front panel to maximize your airflow, or use the glass panel for that seamless aesthetic look of all your beautiful components inside. The Montec King 95 Pro also have a front panel where you can see the power button, the audio jacks, two USB 3 ports, and one USB-C port. And if you can see this button right over here, this controls the RGB lighting of the fans and the strip light in front of the PC case. Each press of the button will rotate on each preset RGB lighting settings from the controller hub.
The back panel can also be removed without any tools, same as the glass side panel with just one thumb screw at the back. From here, you'll be able to see your two side fans and the hard disk drive bay over here and your power supply. You can actually swing open this back panel covering by removing the screws on top and at the bottom. I do apologize that I was not able to show you the bottom part where the screw is for this panel. And ta-da! Depending on how good you are on your cable management, all of your cables will be shown once you swing this back panel open. But that is also one thing that I love about this case. I don't have to be super organized in my cables because once I close this panel back up, it will cover all of my cable management. This case also has its own fan controller hub and RGB controller hub which is located at top portion right here. As you can see here, this controller hub can support up to 10 fans and 10 RGB connections, which is then controlled by the button in front of the case which I showed you earlier. In my case, my AIO pump actually also has an RGB light as you can see here. What I did is I connected this RGB light instead to an open space inside my motherboard, I just included this in the free space on the controller hub of the case. Now here is a closer look at the controller hub on this Montec King 95 Pro. So that concludes the back panel of our Montec King 95 Pro. The back of the case of the Montec King 95 Pro is just a simple one. Uh, it has this thumb screw which holds your drive bay and even the hard disk in itself are easily removable but in my case uh, my hard disk are still connected so i will not be able to pull this out and you also have your psu mounting and you have seven slots for your pcie components two are currently used by our gpu now let's discuss the fans included in this montec king 95 pro as you can see we have six rgb fans already pre-installed in our Montec King 95 Pro. The two fans at the sides of this case are 140 millimeter fans. Then at the bottom, you have 320 millimeter fans included. And finally, you have a single fan at the back, which is a 120 millimeter fan as well. When I first posted the video of this build in this channel, I actually had a lot of comments saying that the fans orientation is actually wrong in my build. So they thought that the bottom fans are on exhaust, the side fans are also on exhaust, but actually the bottom fans are intake fans as well as the side fans. So the side fans are pulling air from the outside to the inside of the case. The bottom portion is also intake fans which is pulling from the bottom. My AIO fans are also configured to be exhaust fans so it's pulling air from the inside of the case going out to the top of the case. Let me try to show you the airflow for this case with a simple demonstration. And here it is guys, our low production demonstration for the airflow in our PC case. As you can see, based from the movements of our small tissue papers that we stick into our PC fans, we can see that the bottom fans and the side fans are pushing air inside our case. By the way, a big shout out to my wife for this DIY idea. And as a quick demonstration that our back fan is actually configured as an exhaust fan, let me show you this. Now let me show you the airflow for this case as depicted on the website of Montec. So I mentioned that you can swing this fans outward so that it will be in front of the case. But since my bottom fan and my GPU are in the way, I am not able to show it to you at this moment. But here is a quick look from the website of Montec. So now for the bonus tip, remember? This button actually controls the cycle of the RGB lights inside our PC case for all the ones that are connected in our hub controller. So every time you press this button, it will cycle through all the preset RGB settings for all the lights, including the strip light, the fans, and all other components connected in the controller hub. But what if you want all the lights to be uniform and be controlled in the motherboard software of your PC? Like for example, my RAM here also has RGB and it's being controlled by the motherboard. So how can I make sure that all of my lights are synced together 
and controlled by one software inside the motherboard software. In my case, the Asus Armor Crate. So what we need to do is use the same button that we used to cycle through all the presets and we just need to press this for 3 seconds until we see that quick blink and from there, you'll see that the light is also the same with the RGB light on my RAM. That quick blinking light indicates that you have already passed on the control of the RGB to the motherboard software. You only need to do this once and afterwards, even if you turned off your PC, when you turn it on again, it will still follow whatever is configured in the motherboard for the RGB or in the BIOS settings. Here is a quick demonstration of changing the lights through the motherboard software, which in my case, again, is the ASUS Armor Crate, in changing the colors for all the components that has RGB inside my PC case, including the case fans, the RAM, and the light strip in front. So there you have it guys, this is the Monte King 95 Pro, the king of mid-size tower PC case. I really like this case because of its aesthetic design and the fact that it already has six fans included and installed for us. The curved glass actually adds some pleasing aesthetics into this case and the fact that it's so spacious that I can even put I think one or two Funko Pops inside is also a plus for me. And yes, you may say that this one is a bit on the heavier side. I can tell you, it's a bit heavy with all the components inside, but I really like it. How about you? Do you like the Montec King 95 Pro? Comment down in the section below. Give me your thoughts. Would you consider the Montec King 95 Pro for your next case in your PC build? Once again, thank you guys for joining us today, and I hope you learned a little something in this video. And if you want to watch more videos like this, why don't you hit that subscribe button over here? I would really appreciate it and it will help out the channel a lot. So see you guys next time and watch out for updates when I finish the setup on the new place.